Hello, everyone. This is Ethereum Cat Herder meeting number 45. Um, the first item on the agenda is the Ethereum Cat Herder website, and I think that item is for Alita. Uh, yeah. So I've been trying to upload the GIF that I shared. Oh, you know what I could do? I could probably just upload it to Discord. One moment. Basically, I'm working on uh, un like fixing the website since the website kind of like could use a bit of a renovation. Um, so I just uploaded the current like basic, uh, like I got the navigation down on the website. So now you can like go between different pages or whatever. Uh, it's kind of like the basis of the website, obviously. Um, I have plans right now to just kind of continue with what I'm doing and uh, just more or less copy the, uh, the old website onto the new one, um, but in a more clean way. And then I think once I have like the basic framework down, I'm thinking maybe we can start kind of with, with, with like good ideas or some ideas regarding you know, maybe we want to render uh, like the markdown within the browser. Maybe we want to do whatever because uh, kind of the sky's the limit a little bit. So it might be fun. Um, yeah, I would say it's underway. It's looking good. Uh, no idea how long it will take me to finish the website, but happy that it looks a lot. I think it looks a lot better than uh, the main website. So. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I looked into that uh, GIF image that you have created and uh, I'm sharing a link here uh, that is again for uh, what, what we can think of more navigation or uh, inside of that. Just give, me, just give me a second, I'm going to share. Sure. Here. So uh, that is about like, you know, what we would like to see on the page uh, uh, on high level, whatever you have assigned looks good. But if we can have different buttons of a home network upgrade meeting, and this is the layout that I was just having in my mind. I'm curious to know what other people think about it. I mean, this is uh, this document, if they feel something should be added, removed, please feel free to do that. This is just high level. What uh, I think that would be good for community to know about, uh, to just inform what cat herders are doing in general. Like every time we don't have to go and let them know, they can just visit the cat herders website and we'll get all the relevant information uh, that is related to Ethereum uh, mainnet, like Ethereum 1.0, maybe 2.0, or any proposals that we are working or supporting in general. Yeah. That seems awesome. It all totally, is like, totally achievable. Um, so yeah, cool. Um, I had a quick comment. I think something that I've seen that makes it really easy for these type of websites where there's gonna be updates from a variety of people are um, having people be able to go in and do pull requests and just mark down updates to the pages. Um, so just have marked down and then that get rendered to HTML on the site. And I know that like, for examples of things that do that, I think Jade and Jekyll and Hugo do that. Um, but um, I'm not sure if yours is just pure HTML or what, what it is so far. I mean, do we just want to do like, um, like have, do you, oh, sorry, do we just want to have like a back end or something? Um, I usually, so in the past, what I've done, and we can do it however, we can put it on something like Netlify or AWS or whatever, but I usually, I don't know if it's free anymore, but there's GitHub pages that allow you to link up um, a repo to GitHub pages, and then it just push the, um, it pushes the website out. So yeah, I think our present website is designed in that way. I just shared the link. Uh, so uh, according to this, uh, what we need to do is just change uh, 
uh, one file that index.md for the contents and anybody can make a pull request in this particular repository to uh, like reflect any changes on their website is it something that you were trying to say Hudson? yeah yeah that's exactly right that's like a, or that's one example of what we could do um but i was just thinking that's what I think we're doing so far. It might be better to change it. I don't know yet. So I'll kind of defer to Alita on that. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely possible. What we could do also is like integrate GitHub within the website. Um, I wonder if that'd be a thing like sign in with GitHub or whatever. I don't know if that would be painful. Um, but just like having that in, like the, the thing is that, you know, I mean, I'm full stack. So if we want to do back end, like a, a simple back end that just, saves uh like the the markdowns of the different pages or i mean i guess github does that so uh yeah and another it, one to look at maybe um ethereum.org is open source and i'll paste the repo in here but well, i actually i did look at that but the problem with okay. ethereum is that they use something that's not react which i'm primarily primarily comfortable with react okay um but I don't know if what they're doing is like better or such easier than React. Um, have you ever programmed the website at all? Um, yes, and I have used React. Um, it's been a while though. I used like a super old version of React. So um, yeah, doing something like that would be, be cool. I think that'd be fine. Well, but like, what's the difference between Rick React and whatever the, the website's doing? I think that- There's um, a few, I think. I think they're using few. What was that again? I missed that. I think they're using Vue, just for the record, ethereum.org. Um, oh, VJS? I, I think it, yeah, yeah, I think so. Oh, hmm. By an, if we're just talking see. about a markdown, like rendering engine. I don't think that necessarily, like was that the whole reason that you were talking about it server side? So that there was, be, so there would be something that could process the markdown? Alita? Yeah, so so that way you could like, just kind of upload um, stuff onto the website and edit it on the website. I think that would make life a lot easier for people. There might be oh, ways yeah. to do that serverless. It wouldn't shock me. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But I'm not, yeah. uh, but I am just shooting in the dark there. I don't know that for a fact. Well, we could potentially have like a universal like PR client or something that interfaces with the website. Um, and then, I mean, I'll look into it, but I think that, I think that that would be a really ideal setup. So that way you can just kind of uh, manage stuff on the website. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, and I'll look for a few things after this meeting to try to understand what I'm talking about. No, okay. I was completely wrong. What I was thinking is um, Gatsby. Gatsby uses React and allows you to do the thing I'm talking about where you can just upload to GitHub and then it has like different, different like plugins and things you can do um, to make it a little easier to build on. So you don't have to build a backend from scratch. It like deploys it for you. Oh, okay, that sounds really interesting. I, mean, I do know that the ethereum.org as well, um, the ethereum.org, I think it doesn't even have a backend, right? It's all like integrated. I'm not really sure how that works though, but. Yeah, well, they're using Netlify right now. Um, so that's their, their server side stuff is launched through Netlify, but that's like, Did that's I more of their CI. Oh, I can still I can hear, hear her. I think. Oh, okay. Sorry. What? Um, no, sorry. I, I wasn't able to hear you. So I thought, did I just lose you or everyone, everyone else did? But looks like something wrong with my internet connection. No worries. Carry yeah, on, okay. please. Yeah, but anyways, I found the Gatsby um, uh, link and I pasted it there. And I'm also going to paste it in the website update communication channel in our Discord. So we can just continue the conversation there. Sounds good. And then, I mean, I guess I could, I could, if Gatsby would be a lot easier to use to just set this up, then I mean, there's no reason why I shouldn't use it. Um, even if that means they have to. Guessing it'd be easier, but that's just a guess. Um, but check it out, see if you understand what 
what they are doing for it because it is completely react based so that should be familiar to you oh, okay so it's like a package or yeah it's like you launch it and you get to put in plugins and different themes if you want to make your own theme that's cool too but it's a way to where it'll you can do a command and it renders the website for you out of markdown and whatever else you want to put in there Oh, interesting. So, so is this a, um, like a, I wonder, is it, are, are they associated with, hold on, let me think about this, uh, WordPress? Mm, I don't know. Okay. I'll look into it. I really appreciate the, uh, you pointed it out. Sure. And, um, is good. there, I'm, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, sorry. I, I, I lost my thought. Go ahead. So, I primarily work on this stuff on the weekend, by the way. I'm only putting like a few hours a week. So um, in conjunction, because I'm also doing that stuff with the uh, BLS 12 still. Um, and that's, I'm also just putting a couple hours a week or whatever. Um, so might take me a while to fully finish it. No problem. Is, hey, the is there anything else that, on this? Is the markdown that all that stuff uses is that completely different than WordPress Markdown? That's a question I've had. Is, is the Markdown at all compatible or are those completely different Markdown um, languages? Markdown has different flavors. There's like GitHub Markdown, WordPress Markdown and other stuff like that that are very similar but have some syntax differences. Okay, cool, thanks. Cool, all right, is there anything else on that one? No, I think uh, that's it. Right. Oh, actually, yeah, there is one more. Once um, we were considering like once it's once the website's more functional, we have like a better idea of like what what, what we're going to use it for. Um, I'm thinking that we should consider like getting funding for a designer so that way we can get like a, a bit of like a logo redone plus like a, a like our color scheme sort of like ironed out. I mean, I could like create a, a temporary um, color scheme, but yeah, I, I hiring a professional designer would be nice. Yeah, I think that would be good. I, th I think it would be good for um, getting people like, onboarded with the Ethereum cat herders as well. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so on that, like, uh, as I mentioned uh, in uh, the the other day uh, in the call with the uh, um, website people are working on it. So we, we may be looking into that. If we need, we can go ahead with bounty, uh, creating some kind of bounty for that. Or maybe if you have any suggestions or recommendation for people here. And about the funding part, yes, that that is being considered. Like we are trying to get uh, uh, get that added in uh, the Moloch request that we would be putting. So yes, uh, that is there in my mind. But if anybody has any other thoughts on it. Cool, that's a good next step is to get funding. All right, anything else on that agenda item? Okay, next up is community call for account abstraction. Uh, that's uh, Pooja. Uh, yeah, um, so we are planning to like, uh, we are already doing this uh, peep any sessions uh, for uh, different uh, proposals that are coming up in Ethereum, uh, maybe for the Berlin upgrade or maybe for the future upgrade or in general, if they are having some uh, importance, we would like to discuss that. But other than that, we are trying to start these community calls for proposals which are important and which are less known, maybe can be uh, useful for different uh, purposes like by developers for different uh, use cases. Uh, the first in that is a account abstraction community call. And we are planning to have it on the 28th. So there are certain things um, that I have, uh, I mean, like uh, I, uh, that was there in my mind about this calls. I'm going to share that uh, first and then we can hear everybody and what we can do and we cannot do. This is the first time we would be having any proposal related to a community call, though we already have done related to the upgrade. Um, I, I, we did it for Istanbul. Uh, my thought was like, if we can get associated with uh, magician people and start working on it because they are the one who are also looking into the proposals. So for this particular community call, um, 
the idea was to have it in, in a form of an event, like we can design a banner uh, for the call and then have uh, questions collected, uh, talk about it on at Magician Reddit or Medium post, Twitter announcement. Um, Hudson, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Hudson has agreed upon to be the moderator of the call, so we, we could have him there, we can live stream. And if uh, people think about having it in like panel discussion, we can also invite uh, different uh, uh, people from the community. And yes, we might want to have uh, promotion in the dev community. So what are the other thoughts on it, how we should go about it? That all sounds good. Yeah, right. So we are targeting it to be on uh, November 28th uh, at uh, 9 a.m. EST. So, uh, yeah, we can start working on it. Um, and if people want to get involved, um, they would be, so the ways to get involved, I'm guessing, would be to submit questions or attend it themselves if they're a cat herder. Would that be accurate? Yeah, that is fine. I mean, like if uh, if they are cat herder, yes, they can do that. For that, uh, there was just a rough idea in my mind. Like, can we go ahead and create a, a form like Airtable form or an uh, Google form and spread it in the community? If they are interested to join the call, they can fill up the form and then we will send the invite. How does that sound? Sounds good to me. I know I'm just one guy, but Fridays are almost always a difficult day for me to attend. Uh, I mean, like the whole idea of having it in the on on Friday was like Friday. Generally, people attend for the all core dev meetings, and this week particularly was not the meeting. So we thought that that would be a good one. But yeah, see if you can make it anyhow. Yeah, no, and there's no way. <laughs> Sorry, oh, that's okay. Future yeah. ones we can consider a different time, of yes. course. Yeah, of course we can. Um, what time was this one this week? And it's not in this week, uh, it's in the coming week, uh, November 28th, 9 a.m. EST. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I can make anything like before like 10 p.m. ES or 10 a.m. <laughs> anything before 10 p.m. Man, I waking up late anything. if it's 10 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I sleep I sleep all day and all night. No, but yeah, because anything before like 9 p.m. EST, like even this is a bit of a stretch for me. Um, but I guess it, it, it's okay. Um, but I probably, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, we are generally flexible about time. Like even 9 a.m., I understand it can be very early for the people on the West Coast, including Hudson and Brent, everybody there. But thing is, we need to align with the author's time zone, right? right. So, yes. Sorry. Oh, did you have something? Was that Brent or? Yeah, I was just agreeing with Pooja that we need to align with the uh, author time zone. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. If anybody would want to uh, like uh, get involved, uh, take up on any responsibility, creating banners or talking to people or creating a medium post about it, please do let me know. And yes, we can work together on it. So. Great. Okay. Um, Next up, we have Peep and Eep. Uh, updates on that. Okay, uh, on Peep and Eep, uh, last week uh, we had uh, recorded uh, a proposal 2718 type transaction envelope with uh, uh, Micah Zoldu. I think that is one of the uh, very good episodes recorded so far. Um, it, it has a detailed explanation of what uh, proposal is, uh, the 2718, including uh, some use cases and how uh, it can be implemented by uh, by people who would be using it for um, making uh, certain changes in their transaction type. So it's a very good watch. Uh, I would recommend to go ahead and watch it. This week we are planning to have a recording for account abstraction itself. It's going to be a high level overview with Sam Wilson and Ansgar Dietrichs. The recording is scheduled at uh, 1 30 p.m. EST tomorrow, the November November 11th. So just a, a heads up to everyone who was who are interested to join this uh, meeting. It's tomorrow, 
November 11th at 1.30 p.m. with Sam Wilson and Anska Dietrichs. Got it on my calendar. Okay, thanks, Pooja. Um, next up, we have item four, meeting notes updates for the four meetings that we take notes in. So the first one is uh, uh, EIP, EIP. Uh, I believe Brent, uh, would you be able to let us know the summary of the meeting? Or maybe not even the summary or, but like, um, are the, what is the status of the notes? Is that what you mean? Yeah, I'll, I'll quickly do both. But basically, the meeting was kind of split in half. And so we're rather than duplicating everything a transcript and everything, we're, we're trying to condense that down into um, we're going to list the Edson's questions and have a summary. And we're going to try and do some summary and stuff like that. So we've got a first draft of that. But uh, Pooja had some additional information she wanted. in, so we're working on that. Hopefully, we'll have that finished today. That's great. So one of the action item that came out of that meeting was uh, like a, uh, publishing a medium blog on cat herders medium account about the network upgrade process, which is like uh, uh, not very, uh, the process is not very uh, popular these days because it's something new that we have done decided in the EAPIP meeting itself. So I have drafted this uh, blog. Um, I'm sharing the link in the chat and yes, uh, any kind of feedback is welcome. So if, if it would be good, we can publish this in another day or two. Yeah, I plan to look over this. Um, if I don't look over it before you're planning on publishing it, remind me, uh, just nudge me for that. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, okay, uh, so I think that's it because uh, I do not see the other people who were you know, working on notes, but we have notes ready for all core dev and at two meetings. And so, 1559, I think, right? Uh, that's not up yet. Um, oh, that's not up yet, okay, got it. Yeah, so uh, we, are, we are done with the notes for fi all core dev and at two and 1559 should be done by today, I hope. So, okay, sounds good. Um, next item is emergency communication group. Um, for that one, uh, the next step on that is I'm going to talk to um, some ETH1 security people and get some feedback. I talked to ETH2 security people and actually they did bring it up recently about utilizing the cat herders um, for their like uh, Google sheet of people to reach out to. And especially in the context of ETH2 staking, if there's a problem, to utilize us to reach out to those groups um, and make sure that we can communicate messages to them and stuff or get them all in the same place to communicate messages. Sounds good. Um, so I'll just keep updated in the Telegram channel on that. Um, Cat Herders funding, Moloch Dow and ESP. Um, for the Moloch Dow proposal, we'll be submitting that today or tomorrow at the latest. Um, and we, Pooja and I have been working on that. I think it's for $45,000. And if you're interested in looking at it over before we publish it, let us know. Um, and then with ESP, I actually, the other day, um, Pooja, I forgot to mention this um, when I was talking to you the other day, but um, uh, I'm talking to someone from ESP again, because uh, there's been some renewed interest in the cat herders um, and just kind of getting an update of where we're at. Mm -hmm. um, more so than anything else and like where our funding's at and what we're doing and what we've accomplished. So I'm starting conversations on that and then we'll pull people in uh, as needed. Sure. Uh, uh, so, I mean, we're planning to uh, kind of have a summary of what we did in this entire year, maybe by the end of November or December. But if you need something before that, some kind of document in which they would like to see what we have done since the uh, uh, like 2020, I'll be happy to work on that. Let me know. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I think that'd be a good document in general for us to share with the community and to share with uh, other places that want to fund us and stuff. So yeah, maybe not maybe not like urgent to make, um, but um, if we can like morph the MGP document and just add details to that, 
or something like make a second document that's like the MGP document, but more detailed about what we've done up to this sure. point. Sure, I'll look into that. Okay, great. Um, anything else on that topic? I forgot to ask on the emergency communication group topic too, but if there's not on those two, I'll move on to the next one. All right, um, the next one, instead of discussing and closing GitHub issues, um, I know William added something a little bit ago to a comment, um, but uh, you wanted to start a conversation about engaging the members who haven't been participating much and increasing participation in general. Oh yeah, cool, I can talk to that. Um, so, I mean, we have a lot of members who I still personally look at as members, but I haven't seen a lot of interaction from them. And on the other hand, I know that a lot of times the biweekly meetings, these have a bit of a low turnout. So, um, we've talked a lot and are making efforts in terms of recruiting new members, but I get the feeling, even though I suspect that a model where users sort of uh, wax and wane in terms of how much they're contributing at any given moment, um, I get the feeling that some of the members probably with a certain level of engagement could come back to being in the meetings and like, you know, lending their skills to the things that we do. So I wanted to sort of uh, start a conversation just about retention if we think that we should be reaching out to people who have helped out in the cat herders in the past um, to see what we can do in order to bring them back into the meetings and sort of get back into the same loop. So I guess I'm curious if that's also the paradigm that other people here operate under and any thoughts they might have about something like that. At least open a communication channel, I would think would be good because they may have reasons like they've changed their priorities and just basically have decided they have other priorities, but it would be nice to know that or and just pinging them might say, oh, yeah, I should get more back more involved with that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And in terms of priorities also, I guess what I would say is um, it would take, I, I think it would take a lot for a person just to say like, or not a lot, but I mean, I, I, don't, I wouldn't really expect that anybody was like, oh, and then I just decided the cat herders are wrong. <laughs> like, and I didn't want to do anything any, anymore there. Like, I get that people get busy with work, schedules change, like, you know, other things come up. But yeah, speaking to the, to, to the other point you made, I think just every now and then just that level of like, hey, we're still here. We enjoy your contributions and we'd love to hear from you. I, I think that could potentially go a long way. Yeah, that's helped me a lot. Pooja's, um, like when I miss a meeting or something, Pooja's, as are you doing okay? And, and stuff like that helps me a lot. Other thoughts? Yeah, I yeah, think that. Um, yeah, please go ahead, Alita. I think I think Pooja reaching out is, is, is also a very good thing. Um, it's very nice of you, Pooja. Um, I think that... It, it's easy when it comes to async stuff to sort of get uninvolved and forget that like you're even involved at all. It's really weird. I don't know. At least it happened to me. Um, so I think maybe just having like a, uh, like, yeah, I think reaching out to people and stuff is probably good. Yeah, let them know they're missed. Yeah. Because they are. Cool. Um, so maybe I'll take this async then, maybe in the internal channel. Uh, maybe I'll start a conversation about like who to reach out to, who's going to reach out to them, and all of that. Uh, unless people think that this is uh, like a conversation we should be having here and now. I think a sync is fine. I think it's a good idea. Right. Um, for new members, I was kind of thinking that maybe we could have something like a an open house or like a almost like a job fair a virtual job fair-esque presentation and recruitment effort where we have like a meeting like a day or maybe a whole day where we're just like having people come in and out of the chat room or a call and um or maybe not a whole day but like a, a set time that people can come in like a block of time to talk about cat herders with us and we go over the cat herders maybe a few different times or something. That sounds great. I think it's a really good idea. I mean, I'm not, 
I'm, I, I feel like those normally occur with like a big event because generally people like wouldn't really stop by. Um, so is there any sort of like virtual job fair type deal, deal thing? There's ETH global events and I think there's one in December. It's more hackathons, but it's still good to catch people at like a hackathon and see what their interests are if they're less technical or even if they are technical and want to help. So we have, cool idea. yeah. Yeah, I totally agree that involvement is very important. I have been talking about it for past few meetings that we are trying to get people onboarded, but the people who are already onboarded, like I, I know that a few of them have filled up the uh, onboarding form for cat herders and they also even joined one or the other meetings. Somebody did notes for us this time. One of the missing meetings notes were done. So uh, sometimes, I mean, it's, it's my uh, personal thought that sometimes the their level of engagement is uh, limited to particular task only. So they want to show up for that. But yes, it, it would be important and definitely helpful for us to understand what are the, you know, uh, how we can get them more engaged, yes meeting them personally would be one of those which can be done with the help of hackathon and other meetings true i mean money is a really great motivator as well i mean especially with the website you could just kind of have like a list of money things that people can do yeah right I, we can add that to like in in the website also when we are talking about how to get engaged we can also highlight the opportunities that we have that also engage with some kind of uh, incentive associated with it small bounties or the things so generally what we we received so far is uh, for note taking not takers because that is with something i mean that's my thought yeah i mean that, that's how i got involved right i was like oh yeah i can just go take notes and you guys like I don't know, and I got like uh, inundated with the culture of the cat herders. So then, uh, that's why, yeah. I think it's, I think. <laughs> well, no. I think that I think that the people are a culture, for sure. Yeah, it's a it's an anarchy culture. You don't need governance; you just need good communication. I was getting all excited. That we yeah, well, like or or you just need puja. I think that that's really what it comes down to. I think, I, I think that's what it comes down to. Too, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, uh, employ Pooja. I think we'll, we'll be pretty good. Yeah, I'm good in chasing people, looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, the fact that I'm here right now, I think is a really, is a, is a testament to, to your ability. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay. Um, I think, uh, is there anything else on this topic? Okay, uh, next up we have, oh, I lost the link. Oh, here it is. Um, eat, close and discuss GitHub issues and PRs for the PM repo issues. Um, there's nothing in there that I see that would probably have updates. Um, I don't think. Does anyone see any issues that would have updates? Um, just one thing. I mean, it, I'm not saying that it has update. Sorry, I'm on the wrong repo. So uh, I, I may have mentioned it earlier as well uh, about uh, number is 104, Folkman. Just wanted somebody to you know uh, double check if it is good and that is ready to be closed because i believe they have started this website again i'm talking about uh, the issue oh they one. did yes they did and that is so we can close this yeah i'll close it sure okay just closed it yay um yeah. anything else yeah, there was one more. I I I'm not very sure that it is closed or not. Number one one eight. I remember you did some conversion sometimes back. So is it done? Uh, the only thing left is that we have like a little bit of money in the old multi sig that we're not able to get out uh, because it keeps producing an error. And I and I was trying to find someone from Gnosis to help, and I couldn't reach through my contacts. They wouldn't answer. So I'm gonna go to their Discord server and ask there. 
Okay. Okay. No, I just I wasn't sure because I remember that you started working on it, so I wasn't sure of the final status. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And then on the funding issues, um, that is mostly it's actually pretty caught up. There's some the, the earliest one is nine days ago, and we like to batch them. So. Oh no, I think uh, uh, some of them are open, but they are already paid. Oh, good. So uh, I think there are only few three new three or four are new I'll yeah we'll close that rest of them please go ahead and check if you have received the funding uh, that mm -hmm. issue can be closed and note that um, you know the ETH 2.0 beacon chain deposit contract launched and people need to get their deposits in by the 24th so between so the weekend of the 21st 22nd and 23rd and then the day of the 24th is going to be very congested on the network, yeah. primarily the 24th. And then also the day before the first and the day of the first is gonna be congested uh, because that's the launch of the contract or of the, that could be the launch of the chain, phase zero beacon chain. Um, and so people have to deposit the week before um, in order to get in at Genesis um, or they can also do it like the day of, but not be in at Genesis. So, all that being said, um, the, uh, be like just be aware of those days if you're trying to submit transactions for anything. Yeah, yeah, sure. I mean, like I'll try to close this. I mean, like create uh, new transactions, maybe in a day or two by tomorrow or day after tomorrow. I'll look into that. Okay, great. Um, anything else on outstanding GitHub issues? Okay. Um, and then meeting 44 notes, uh, that, that why oh, work? sorry, that link is broken. Looks like, let me quickly. See. Okay. I found the right one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Actions are 44.1 EIP 1559, reach out to more exchanges and wallets. And also 44.2 is publish a second report on 1559. Yeah, we are working on reaching out to more wallets uh, this time. And we had one meeting last week uh, with one of the projects, which is like a high gas user project. But we still need more support on reaching out to exchanges and wallets. We have received very, very few responses from them. So if anybody from CatHeader has any contact in there, uh, please feel free to share with uh, this 1559 group, the outreach group and we'll get in touch with that. Does About that have a Discord or Telegram channel? Yeah, it is available in Discord. Oh, perfect, okay. Yeah, I see. An outreach channel, yeah. So we can just mention it over there and we can get in touch with more wallets and exchange. We need them. Okay, sounds good. Um, so submit a Moloch DAO proposal that we talked about that, that's 44.3 action item and that's happening today or tomorrow. 44.4, um, update the ECH website to include the newsletter sign up. Um, I, we talked about updating the website. I don't know if we have the newsletter set up. Uh, for newsletter, uh, like uh, I have figured out a way in Medium itself, like uh, there is way for publishing it. The, when Whenever the newsletter is published, it automatically, gets to the inbox of uh, whoever have uh, followed us on Medium. Um, so that is there. But uh, I believe this particular action item was to have a way to collect uh, emails for other people who are not there on the Medium, like not the follower of Medium, but they are still interested to get our newsletter. So yeah, Alita, I think this would be one more thing that we would like to consider and contact us ways so they can collect their email addresses. Okay, that, that's uh, that, that's fine. Um, I can definitely do that. And then also, I was I was really feeling like a great thing for the website would be like a news feed where we can like have the medium posts or or even just post directly to the website. Although that like posting to the website might just take a while to sort of get working, just because um, it's not really necessary right now. Um, I think that would just be a nice thing. But uh, I think that, like, would you guys like to have, like, a news feed on the website? Oh, that would sound cool. 
Yeah, it does. So uh, what, what is there in your mind? Like, uh, is it some, some RSS feed coming from any particular uh, website? Say, for example, Ethereum Reddit or something? Or do you want it to coming, uh, be coming from the Ethereum cat herders uh, medium blog? Yeah, I was thinking so something like the, the medium blog, uh, or if we wanted to link anything else as well. Um, I'm not totally sure, so I would I, I could use some input slash uh, advice from you, Pucha, or anybody else, of course. So I have uh, added that, like, uh, if you look into that ECH website doc that uh, I shared some times ago. So it, that mm -hmm. has a section of, uh, like, latest newsletters and other blogs, like uh, Cat Editors also publishes blogs. Uh, say, for example, Edson did some survey on EIP editors, and he wrote a blog on that. William uh, arranged a workshop with the help of uh, Tim and Helena. So he wrote a blog and some something on the upgrade. These are featured blogs. So we can have that listed there and the regular newsletter update that we do. But if okay, we want yeah, that's interesting. Definitely. You Would we want to just sort of do like a... Oh, you know what? That, that, that's really cool because you could just have like a blog, a place where it's all just, you know, a bunch of articles and then it's like authored, right? That's cool. So it's like we're ba like, like uh, we're a news agency then. Okay. Right. I mean, uh, these all these information are available with us. The only problem that we have is like if anybody is interested, they have to dig deeper to uh, like find out these information. And the purpose of having this cat herders website is everything is available on the dashboard. You just go and click the right button and you will get the information that you are looking for. We did a lot in past two years, but it's sometimes become difficult to explain it to uh, people what we did. So just want to have it in like on a page, people can get the information all by themselves. Do we want to have like um, an infinite page where it's just like as you scroll, it just loads like, well, I mean, it's obviously not infinite because we don't have infinite articles, but something like that. I am personally okay with that, but I'm willing to hear other thoughts because my, my uh, like uh, my website is like that. So I know uh, that's, that's something good. <laughs> I think, I think it would be a bit different, but yeah. So yeah, uh, if anybody does not have any objection on that, we can do that or other thoughts if there are. No objection here. Cool. Okay, um, before we go, oh, hey Edson, <laughs> welcome. Hi. Um, let's see, I think that might be everything. Um, that's all the action items. Was there something else? There was um, a yeah, decision as next meeting is 1500 UTC um, on November 24th. Um, and that is, oh, that's the deposit contract uh, day for the week before the deposit contract. Cool. Okay. Um, thanks everybody. And I had, we will... I had one more quick question back yeah. on the meeting notes uh, where the last meeting notes for the EIP IP was meeting 20 and I'm still not seeing meeting 19. Is, is there something we need to do to try and get that to happen or should we just not, not worry about that or? I think that is done. Um, I remember seeing some message on Discord. I did not get a chance to look into the pull request yet, but I remember seeing somebody posted the notes for that. Oh, I didn't see the notes there, but maybe the poll request. I didn't check the poll request. I'll check that. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, I think it is there in the poll request. I can see that. Okay. okay. Is there anything else? So when is that poll request going to happen? Because, or, or I, I guess I'll just update the EIP IP is, or, or I, I mean the readme.md. I'm, I'm wondering when that pull request will happen. Uh, I think it is already there. I just shared the link in the chat. Uh, so no, I, I mean, when it's going to be merged. Okay. I'll, I can do it in a day. I mean, I'll look into it. It, it was just uh, one day before. So I'll just look okay. into it and close it. Yep. Yeah, that'll make it easier for me to do my pull request if that's merged before I do that. Thanks. Okay, is there anything else uh, from anybody before we head off? Okay, thanks everybody. Bye. Have a great day. Thank you, Edson. Thank thanks. you, everyone. Bye. Yeah, bye. Thanks, everyone.